Don't be a flake. Don't run away from your feelings, babe. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. Don't hesitate to say, hey, babe. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. Hey, I want to know if you'll be my guy. How's everything, buddy? Good, buddy. How you doing? Good, man. You know, just drinking. I'm still still, still drinking this uh, tequila. That's it. Do you ever taste gin? You no. just taste gin? No, but my- it Tastes I, like I, pine sol. Really? It's like turpentine, like something weird. I have an aunt, my Aunt Eileen, who, shout out Aunt Eileen, only drinks gin and tonics and black coffee, so I'll, I'll most of the time say- to a bartender, if I want a gin and tonic, I'll let me get an Aunt Eileen or a black coffee. I'll say, give me an Aunt Eileen. And they'll and always, what do they do to you? Uh, no, I'll only say it around other family members to make them laugh ah, so they know. It goes but, over big. Because usually they'll be like, you know, the waiter, and, and they'll be like, what are you talking about? Yeah. Like, what do you, I don't, oh, we don't have that. I'll say, so, oh, it's so a gin and tonic or But have coffee. you ever had gin without any even, like, juice or tonic or anything like that? No. Um, <sighs> it's rough. 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 Really? Rough, rough. No. I'm not a big alcohol guy i drink white wine I, I drink a lot of pinot grigio beer what oh by the I'm way not a big drinker either i had a friend one of my friends came from san diego last week um and we went out and drank i got sal annihilated annihilated like carry me carry me carry throw, me home i was up? drinking boots steins das no, boots you, no, yes you i was no you yes weren't. i was last week yeah last week what, what, you, what, you're dabbling in boot drinking now? yeah as soon as as soon as um uh cuomo opened it up governor cuomo here 25 percent you ran went, for the boot ran right for the boot i das boot i was eating pretzels forget about my fitness i deleted i threw my phone off the freaking barrazano because <laughs> it had my fitness pal in it i i Full, full. You're not treating it much like a pal. That no, I know, I yeah. know. You ready for what I what I took down? I'm ready. Two two boots of beer, two boots pizza. Shout out two boots of beer. You you're just drinking massive amounts of beer. Two humongous pretzels with mustard, so it's relatively healthy. Delicious. A nutritionist told me once every day what you got to have: mustard, kale, hibiscus tea. Those three things. He said those three things, you'll lead a very healthy life. What are the properties of mustard? I don't know. That, but he said that. if you have mustard, kale, and hibiscus tea, you go three for three, you you're, forget about anything else. You do whatever so else you want a for mustard, the rest of the- a, a mustard, kale, and hibiscus tea smoothie every morning. That's what he said. Yep. Mustard contains antioxidants. You ready okay. for what I had, though? What'd you have? Three then? beers. Yeah. The boot, well, two, two Das Boots, yeah. and, and then a baby beer. Two humongous pretzels. Schnitzel. And you know what I ended it with? Oh, you had a German spot. You know what I ended it with? Yeah. French onion soup at the German place. What was your toilet looking like that, that later that day? <laughs> As Tim Dillon would say, not good. <laughs> then oh, I great. get home at night. Scratch. I get home. And by the way, it's not even at night. It's 8.30 p.m. Get home. I'm drunk as a skunk, so it's obviously like my girlfriend's, you know, you know, you, when you come home drunk as a skunk, even though it's funny, it's like, you know, we got two kids. It's like, what, what are you doing here? W- were you able to get some, your mind over matter and act not drunk or could you not even hide it and you were acting drunk when you got home? I literally, I, I was, I'm talking about fall down yelling drunk oh the God. first thing i did is i walked right in i didn't even say hello to my family they were watching tv they turn around i'm walk right into my daughter's room and i get her stuffed animals <laughs> I, just, I just got her stuffed animals i sat on the couch laughing hysterically at nothing sack? yeah they were watching twilight saga eclipse i'm hysterically laughing at twilight for no reason having a great time jasmine's like you're drunk you need to go take a shower and i of course your response when you're drunk is no you go take a shower yeah that's what you say why do you need to take a shower who knows that sober you up Sober you up like and I, a cold shower. I, and she was just like, You stink, right? Oh. So, you know, stink like alcohol, or whatever. And I'm like, yeah. I'm sorry. You know, I'm telling everybody I love them. You yeah. know, you know, um, um, <laughs> I, it's, it's unbelievable. Yeah. So, and then you I stay on social meds when you're that drunk. I, I will tweet to, I will, I'll text, I text at homeless pimp, log me out. I'll really? always post, log me out. When I, cause when I know about oh, the, you texted me. I texted, you said, you said that. You said you're going to get so drunk tonight. Yes. That you're going to stay off. I was like, why are you, why are you saying this? I no, you were joking. Cause I knew how bad it was going to get cause I haven't seen this guy in a year. Okay. And then it got bad. And then, well, you know what I did last minute move? I Uber eats, Uber ate. What do you say? If you, I Uber eats it. Yeah, I Uber, Uber I Uber eats. Eat yeah, you Uber, Carvel. You Uber ate it. You Uber eated Carvel. <laughs> yeah, you know what I went in for? You ready for our old pal of Cinnabon? I went in for a nine hundred calorie Cinnabon at nine thirty at night with one. a large Carvel Anch Reese's peanut butter Carvel Anch, like an avalanche, but from Carvel. I never heard of Carvel Anch. 
I, so, I understood you, were you from born the in? Ray, are you a Russian? Are you working for the Russian government? No, I swear you've to never God. heard. You you don't know the Cinnabungineer, and you've never heard of a Carvel Anch. No, I I can tell you all about Carvel. I grew up with Carvel. We filmed the Carvel. Carvel has a flying saucer. What do you mean you filmed? What do you? What else do you do other? Than, I, I, I'm, on, I'm on a cable access show. Oh, all right. Um, Maybe, yeah. No, okay. we, no, no. We, uh, the flying saucer, right? right? And then they have the cookie puss. Shout out cookie puss. God. Fudgy the whale. Fudgy. Am I cheating on my girl if I'm getting some cookie puss? I don't wow. think so. That's good. Thank you. That's See, good. I told you it wasn't cheating. And so then they said got so. those cones dipped in chocolate that it hardens up the shell. Cherry bonnet. What? It's a bonnet. Cherry bonnet. Is that cherry? That's called the bonnet. Isn't that called a bonnet? The, where they dip the cone in, in the chocolate and it hardens yeah! like magic free? Yeah! <laughs> a cherry bonnet. I think it's called and a brown bonnet. A brown bonnet and a cherry bonnet. Oh, wow. I didn't know Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Let's go through Carvel's I'm menu. I'm John Bonagioni. Look at that. Oh. Now I want Carvel. Now I want Carvel. Now I want Order Carvel. it. Order it. Can we go to Carvel? I, I got news for you, kids. I'm getting kind of drunk again. Ooh. When I get drunk, it's time to Uber Eats. Carvel. You know the theme song? Birth Control. Birth Control. You um, know the theme song? No. Carvel. Fresh. Fresh. No, Ice I don't know. Ice cream. Fresh. No, I don't know. Oh. I don't know. I don't, I, I, I don't know that. Okay. Um, what am I going to do? What, what can you do? What can I do about it? You know, I mean, I know other jingles. By man and we said that one. Yeah, we did this one. Yeah. yeah. What about, um, just real quick, um, what can you think of real quick? Quick food jingle. Quick food jingle. Can you think of? Do you remember the songs of uh, the songs of the supermarket food emporium? No. Here, located here in in, in New yeah. York City. Uh, someone made a store just for me. You don't know that no. food emporium. Food emporium. Oh yes. Someone has my kind of quality. <laughs> food emporium. Yeah. Food emporium. Someone got the message that people like things better, <laughs> especially when they're shopping for the finer things. Something like that. Wow! Pull it up. Oh, we can't. We we can't play that. Oh, can we can't we? play it, huh? Oh, come I on. mean, come on. What is you going on with this country? Are they, are we gonna get flagged if we play it. We're gonna really? get flagged. I'll give them a freaking flag. We got demonetized for a clip of you on Jokers. We got demonetized we got, we got for that. One video. Well, how am I supposed to buy the house? We got demonetized for my own clip. I own the clip. Who do I got to talk to about that? I'm demonetizing myself. It's like an autoimmune deficiency. That's what it is. You're, 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 it's like lupus. I was going to say, you're lupus. Yeah. That's what I'm going to let's call. Now we're calling Sal lupus <laughs> on the show. Call who? Lupus Mokano? more today than. Yesterday? B O L O G N A. Oh, B O L O G N A. Yes. You ready for this? What I'm about to tell you, and I swear to God, it's this is the God's honest truth. Please. I've never in my life had a piece of bologna. What the? What is, <laughs> I swear are you crazy? To God. Are you crazy? I've never in my life had a piece of as a slice of bologna. And you don't think that's odd? You've never. I, you know, I, you curious? I think I you're personally not, you're not bologna curious. Not having, I think that I think it's equal. I think me never having a piece of bologna is as odd as you not thinking that Cinnabons were within walking distance of your house in New York City. Well, you think that those are on the same level. Pimp, how do what I do you know say? where the nearest Cinnabon establishment is to me? But you have 36 years of not chewing on a piece of bologna. By the way, I don't even know if the Cinnabon episode came out yet. So if you, if you don't know what we're talking about, just wait a week. It might not have, right? It might not have. It you depends have on what. a bologna and cheese sandwich? Never in my life. You know what? I, you know what? The one thing I do, I don't like cold cuts. I don't eat cold cuts. I don't really like cold oh, cuts. I've had turkey and cheese, yeah. but. You've, you've, had, you've had every cold cut except for bologna? And liverwurst. Never had liverwurst or bologna. Or olive like loaf. I've never had that. olive loaf. Liverwurst. Liverwurst. What are you saying? Liverwurst. Liverwurst. Spell. Am I saying it wrong? L i v e r w u r s t. You're right. Liverwurst. I guess it's worst. And I've right? never had olive loaf. Like worst. Liverwurst. But is, you're right. You're giving it that German flavor. Liverwurst. Yeah. Yeah. Olive loaf. I, the only reason I've had these things is because I worked at a deli for four years. Right. And I tried them. And liverwurst. Liverwurst. What do you say? Liverwurst. Liverwurst. Yeah. Is gross. Gross. How many people in the deli? Be honest with me. How many people daily or weekly came in and ordered a liverwurst sandwich or an olive loaf sandwich? It, we got about like one a week. One liverwurst, olive loaf, same First thing. First of all, the liverwurst people, we hated them. You know why? Why? As soon as you cut liverwurst, you had to clean the entire machine. Why? Because the consistency of liverwurst, liverwurst, 
Live reverse. The consistency of law reverse would get like it, it would just get like this. It would smudge and not come off. It, it wouldn't come off. So if I if you're backed up, if you're backed up, I mean you got you're you're you got it's lunchtime. Liver, it's lunch. Liver, or, somebody a makes nail, a liverwurst. You, you shut down the whole. The the no, so, the, no, that machine. But I'm being saying there's been times there there could have been feasible amount of times in my life where I've been waiting on a 30 minute line for my lunch order because somebody ordered deliverers and the people have to stop down. They only have one machine. And then you take you have to take a rag. You ever clean a machine like that? You ever work in no. a deli? No. It's it's pretty wild. You take a rag and you get it real hot and soapy, and then you turn the machine on. You clean it as best you can. It's terrible. There's chunks of old stuff in there, and then it, it builds up right away. It's everything between cheese and meats and hams and right everything. Away. It's just. Ugh. But then, but the deliver- you have to push the rag. You push it on the blade. I mean, you could do it different ways, but I will start the blade and then very carefully push the rag onto the side of the blade. And then it would just clean itself as long as you put enough pressure. You, you. It was, it was, and I was just like a teen. I was a, a hot young teen only. Hot young teen. You get, An I HYT. Cut, I cut tip of my, you see that tip of my finger? See that yes. scar there? Yeah. I cut it off on a slicer. Cut, really? It, yeah, and it grew back. It was like, I would say like 10. 15% of the tip of my finger. So, you, so, so, you, so I, if I went like that, you would see like a slope and the, right. the, the finger was gone. I, I did it. I know exactly who, how, who I did it for too. Who, who, Woman who? used to come in. Out them. Out them. I don't know her name, but she used to come in and she always used to get a uh, 12 pack of Bud for her <laughs> husband because he really liked to hit the sauce. That's that's what she says, but it yeah. could have been that thing that we said where she's ordering for someone, but it's really her. She's got the could alcohol be, issue. But he used to come in and she had a kid and he used to come in after school and she used to always get a, a 12 pack of Bud. And one day she told me to order, pe- she wanted pepperoni. Pepperoni wasn't an order that we got a lot of. Right. And pepperoni, we had a stick that was like that thick only. So she wanted me to slice pepperoni thin. So I was just like, shit. And I did it slicing pepperoni because it's like, it's so little that you have to hold it. And I just, it, all it took in five years there, I only cut myself once on the slicer, but all it took was just a moment of like not paying attention. Did you and get? I was bl- like, did you get blood on the pepperoni? I didn't. I no. There was no blood at first. I looked at it. There was no blood. It was just cut so much. The blood. It was so fast. The blood didn't come out yet. And then it stung and hurt like a shooting pain. And then all of a sudden, it, you saw dots forming. And then all of a sudden, it just started bleeding everywhere. I wrapped it in a towel. They took me to the emergency room. And they you dumped, had to go to the emergency yeah, room. Yeah, I had that- to. I sliced my finger off. And they put it in. I remember they put it in iodine. I believe. Why? What does guess, that do? I guess it sterilizes it or something. Wow. I don't know. It, it burns. People cut their fingers off on these machines all the time, right? I'm not the authority, but... I mean, I would say... I would yeah. say about 30,000 people. Thir- <laughs> about 30,000 people, both kids and adults, are rushing... Kids them- all over it. Because they've amputated a finger. The two most common causes are from things many of us come into contact with every day. Doors and power tools. Yeah. Would you consider a cold cutting machine a power tool? Yeah, I suppose I would. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, my girlfriend... Today we built a shelf, and it's gone to the point now where she ju- I'm just the holder. She just asked me to hold stuff, and she comes out with the I mean, she's six months pregnant with the drill, drilling stuff, uh, you know, uh, screws in her mouth, and she's just like, then she did a demo. She did a demonstration for me today, and it he- behind me, like uh, we're in Ghost, and held her hand over my hand and, held, and showed me how to screw screws in. And I was just like, this is the most emasculating thing <laughs> of all time. I, I'll tell you right now, uh, the stuff I hung up in this house, Yeah, I feel like the first two years I didn't have anything hanging up. I had to like get help. Like you didn't, you couldn't even hang this up. Well, we hung this up. Well, the, the thing was already in there. I yeah, hung sure. that for once. I once I realized like someone like my, I think my dad came here with like a package of like things. He's like, yeah. just put this into the wall. This is twenty pounds, thirty pounds, hundred pounds. Yeah, and he helped me. But like my last place before this, my dad hung everything for me. Really? Yeah, but it's more that he, my dad can build a house from scratch. He really can. Actually, he really right? can. But it was more like not that I can't put a nail on the wall, but. He just was like really, really good at finding beams and also hanging things very straight. See, how did that happen? Because my father can't build anything, so that's why I can't build anything. But your father was a builder, so how come? Where were you? Like when he was building stuff, did you just were you not interested? Did he not make you say like Sal, you're gonna you're gonna pick up this it's hammer? So crazy, you know, like you have a parent that cooks and you become a good cook. Yeah. So that didn't happen with me. My and my dad are exactly the same and polar opposites at the same exact time. Right. My dad can build a house from scratch. He was a carpenter. Right. And you know who else was a carpenter? Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. And we didn't take his name in vain. No, no. That was his name in not in vain. That was positive. That, that was, was his name D vein. Yeah. Out of the vein. Out of the vein. Out of vein. Yeah. Uh he my dad can build a house from scratch, which he has. I've watched him like built put up like erect 
Yeah. Like a part of our Like house. he's freaking Michelangelo. Yeah. And then, and then he, could, he also went to the gym every day for his entire life. I, conversely, can't hang a picture frame. Yeah. And I've never gone to the gym. Never. A couple times. But How not, many not times in your life have you been to the gym? Truly. Um, to the gym, truly. I probably went two times for two stints in my life. For one time for about six months to a year, and then one time for about another six months. Got it. Total. And I, I, then it's really, I mean, then it's really, I don't know. I just yeah. Don't do I mean, it. whatever. Not everybody. I should do it. I want to do it, but I just, I, I think I'm too old. To, I don't know. I would really have to like really be. It would enthused. be. Could you imagine if over the next year, I mean, Sal got. I'm talking about jacked, like ripped yeah. and jacked. Yeah. And then you and you just went, but never addressed it. You go like, back on the show, like, you're like, I, like Kumail Nanjiani. <laughs> yeah, you just. <laughs> ah, when I saw that, I was like, "This is not real." It almost looked crazy, and I, yeah. I know Kumail. I've known him for years. Kumail used to uh, has done when I had the bar back right. in like 2008. We had all the comics from the. You probably came over here and did shows. No, I just, I started comedy okay. when you stopped it. Okay. Because I came in in 2010, ah, yeah, yeah. and you were stopping it. Yeah. So shout out, Kamal. We're a great guy. I, 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 Jacked. It, but to, to see his body like that, you're like, I don't understand how that how that, how that Well, he said on an Instagram post yeah, when he first yeah, revealed yeah, it, he was like, he was like, the, you, you have to dedicate your life. life like, it yeah. became his, it is his life, still I, his life. I don't want to do that, even for a character in a movie. Yeah, I can't do it. But God bless. I would, I got to be honest with you, I'm the kind of guy, if you gave me a role like that in a movie, I, I would just take steroids. I would use, to, yeah. I would start using HGH. I would just be like, what if this superhero looks more like me? Right, right, yeah. right. Yo, I'm not a superhero. Oh, yeah, I'm I'm like, let's super- talk about this. Like, yeah. do I, does he have to have abs? What if he's had a similar life experience to me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He's just anxious. Yeah, he grows yeah. his hair out. You, that's your superstar. That's your tr- talent. You can grow your hair out quick. I can grow quick. I mean, hair grow. I mean, it's like that. You ever have a pedicure? Favorite? I've never had a pedicure or a manicure. Really? Never in my so life. You never had baloney. I did get my eyebrows threaded though. Really? Is that painful? Num. I went to this place, Ronnie, on Liberty Avenue in in Queens, and it, they were threading it. But no, it wasn't painful. It's kind of like they're playing like the violin on your eyebrows. You do that though. I did it once. Then and, the rest of the time, now I shave it with a Mach three. <laughs> I just shave my unibrow. You just, you just shave your forehead. Yeah, I've, I've shaved. I came in, I think, one with an episode. I had a dot on my head because yeah. I I, sh- I nicked it. Shave. Does that make it a f- like? Is that an old wives' tale that if you do that, you make it worse? I don't know. I mean, I just noticed like when it gets a little bushy. Yeah. I'll just take a razor and shave the middle of my eyebrows. Mm. That's what I'll do. I had a pedicure for the first time in my life like a few years ago. Right. And um, We both have horrifying looking feet. Yeah. Oh, really? You, th- you think you have nice looking feet? I think I have a nice left one and a, and a 90% nice right one except for the one toe that took a right turn. What? When I, I hit it on the bed and I broke it and I never got it fixed. What's the, well, see, for me, because I have toes that cross over each other, I'm not going to... We took them out. The back of your we feet, took them out of the right? Point. But so, but that's my, but that's my thing. Oh, I don't. My feet are flat though. They're as flat as a man. Like right. A I don't mean. To, I don't mean to insult you, but if you, if, for me, it's like yeah. if you, if you, you're also including the arch. You're I saying have. I, I have, I think I have pretty nice feet, but you, you just said then also one of my toes is still broken to this day, yeah. and it's making a nine degree turn. I, I feel like that disqualifies you. Then all of a sudden, you can't have a nice foot. Yeah. Well, that that really does hurt the right foot. Right. It, but if you take, if you don't, if you discount that one toe. The foot's in pretty good shape. You have nine beautiful toes. Yeah. Right. Yeah, nine nice toes. You have nine beautiful right, toes. Nice nine toes, nice. Yeah. Everything's in order, looks nice. Yeah, no, I have not a, too anything. I have horrifying nice feet. Hue. Yeah. 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 I no, I have horrifying feet. And actually my girlfriend has has really bad feet. She she, she admits this openly. That's and we, right. that was literally the when our daughter was born, the first thing we did was look at her feet. Who did she get? Nobody so far. Nobody so far seen. so far. She has she, regular feet. No, she has no feet. She didn't grow them yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, pedicure is a wild thing. Yeah. Why? What was wild about it? It feels good and weird at the exact same time. Right. It feels weird to sit up on a chair and have a stranger come in and start handling your feet like in that in that manner. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I always feel the same thing I have is this phenomenon when I get a massage. If I ever get a massage. Never got I, oh, I got one massage my whole life. In Hot, Spr- <laughs> Hot Springs, Arkansas. I got a massage from a from a from a guy who kind of looked like your dad. I'm being dead serious. <laughs> I swear to God. My dad. He looked. He looked similar to your father. That's who who gave you a massage. Yes. All right. <laughs> so what happened? So with, well, okay. Oh. So no, I just want to give a little little the ancient pedicure practice of foot care is thought to have originated in ancient Egypt. That's your history. Fiona. There you go. In the royal palaces of the pharaohs, who were known to take special care of their legs and feet, it's believed that nobles in ancient Babylon later created luxurious solid gold tools specifically for manicures and pedicures. It it's weird because it's it's so intimate. Mm-hmm. And you don't know the person from a hole in the wall. And I also have this other phenomenon, like I was saying, when I get massages. Yeah, but you I wouldn't know a hole in the wall. 
Yeah, I wouldn't know. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's, I wouldn't know from a hole. Yeah, right. I, I wouldn't know a hole in the wall either. I wouldn't. I don't so, know what that saying goes. I, yeah, just, I don't even know. Where does it come from? Yeah, but they start to really get in there and they start to like push your cuticles down and right. they hold one toe yeah. at a time. Yeah, like things that n- people I know really well haven't even done to me. Right. I know like, you for years. I've never massaged your toes a like that. Specific nail on a specific toe. You know, and pushing cuticles down, and then mas- right. and then they get the thing, and they're they're taking off the dead skin, and yeah. they're like putting in oils, and then they're filing. Have you ever had a, a toenail filed? No, I've never, I've oh, never had it's, anybody. It's, it's like nails on a chalkboard to me. It's like because they're like going, and then like the nails kind of like pushing around. I can feel it in my butt. Like I can feel the pain in my butt. Yes. That's what it feels like, and you're like, oh, and you, you're putting all this trust in this stranger, and then sometimes they get it, they get in there a little too sharp, and you go, ah, ah. and then they're, and they're just like, ah, oh, sorry, and then you feel weird doing that. Yeah, it, it's, a, it's an experience that if you can let go, might feel well, right, might feel good, but if you can't let go, you're just sitting there tense the whole time, like. You so it's not feel relaxing. weird. Right. Meanwhile, that's their job, but you feel weird. Yeah, that's the see for me. I wouldn't get a pedicure because to pull out my how, in my opinion, it's like. How disrespectful! I'm pulling out my bare foot right now, and I'm saying, "Listen, imagine what those listen, people have guy. seen." Yeah. Oh, I could imagine. Sometimes what- they they let you they 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 give you a bucket of warm water, and it's like has a blue tint to it. Maybe it's like a yeah, like a Windex or something. They have you put your feet in there for like a minute. Yeah, and then that's it. That's the only thing they do to sanitize. You don't know. They don't know where you came from. Right, or what you're working with? Yeah. Imagine you're one of these people that really doesn't give a hoot about anything. Right. And they go in there with a, an all encrustulated <laughs> type of weird shit going on. I always you ever th- see when the toes look like they're like 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 an inch an inch thick. I always think about that with doctors. Imagine being a urologist or a gynecologist. Some of the genitalia these people are pulling out. Who's like, could you imagine yeah. the genitalia these people see on a? I sound like Sebastian Maniscalco. <laughs> could you these people? Sebastian, if you're watching, we'd love to come you on. The, we'd love to get you on the podcast as long as you have a valid COVID test. <laughs> <laughs> yes, buddy. Um, no, who, but, but who's like who's like I, I aced high school. I got a bright future in front of me. I am going to college now. I'm trying to decide what I want to do, but I'm thinking I want to inspect genitalia for a living. It, it's only going to take a couple of hundred thousand dollars and seven more years of training, right. and then I'll be able to look at people's problem genitalia areas. I'm looking at everybody's urethras. Everybody. I think here's what I do know. Do you want take and pimp? You look this up after I say because I'm I'm I, I I'm I'm one hundred. We'll I'm ninety nine percent positive. What I'm about to tell you is the truth, and I don't know if you would ever know this. If you had to guess, what is the highest paid position for a a specialized doctor or residency right out of school? Right out of school. Right, well, I'm sorry. Right out of their residency program. What is the highest paid starting salary doctor? Do you know specialty? Uh, we're not. We're excluding surgeons. You just mean specialty doctors. Specialty doctor. No, I think even. Well, yeah, specialty doctor. What is the highest paid is one? Is it like plastic surgeons? No. Okay. You no, know it is. Is it skin doctor? Dermatologist. Dermatologist. Yeah. That's number one. So I get why wow. pe- people. Want, yes, you look surgeon, dermatologist, or urologist is fourth on the list. There's your answer. Wow. The genitals make money. You know what the That's least what amount of money is. you make is? Unfortunately, pediatrician. Which should be the highest? <laughs> should be the highest, but they have the littlest bodies. That's true. So that's why that's why you make the let maybe get paid per inch on a body. <laughs> Wait, so so a dermatologist. Oh, you know, on the on the show we played a what's the foot one? Podiatrist. Podiatrist. We were podiatrists. We've played every doctor on the show. Right. So dentist, podiatrist, and we get into a real office, and then these people come in, and we we make them believe we're the podiatrist. So I was a podiatrist for a day, and the people came in and took their feet out. What did you do? The feet, like. Like you get some stinky like, feet, dude. Like most of the feet were very bad, really, very bad, and and actually like, stink. Like you have to you have to try to not dry heave right in front of them. <laughs> what would you do? Yeah. Well, now you can, now I with know, the, I guess co- the doctor, you get numb to it, and you just are like a professional about. Well, no, it. I've got people were taking out toes, yeah. and feet, yeah. That if you didn't tell me it was a foot, I, yeah. I wouldn't be able to identify. Did I ever tell you about the time when I was, uh, you know, getting my doctorate degree in physical therapy, and I was in anatomy and physiology with the cadaver? I never told you about that with Doctor Futterman. Shout out, Doctor Fardeman. Um, and uh, you, you had a oh my god, you saw a cadaver? Saw them? Are you kidding me? All the time for a whole summer, the summer you of two thousand seven, whole cadaver summer. I don't know what you were doing in summer of 07. I was in the cadaver lab at NYIT in Old Westbury. I was bartending. Get my doctor. So you, yeah, you were bartending. I was looking at cadavers, dead bodies. 
decapitated heads, skin faces. There was this one woman, had pubic hair and her nails painted, was the creepiest thing of all time. I couldn't, I, what, because the cadaver, you can, you can disconnect from it when you're like, oh, that's just a body. But when it has pubes and its nails painted, you're like, what the f- going oh on? Oh my God. But the craziest thing is, it gets to the point where literally the day before our final, I may have told this story in another podcast, the day before our final, or maybe this one, the day before our final, our, our final exam for the anatomy final where you have to literally go through a cadaver and the doctor dr futterman would pin you know pin in what is this what is that and you have to just write it down did and you go get your own cadaver or did everybody work on the same cadaver we would all work on the well there were there, there were six or seven cadavers like you were walking around it like like it was all over the room and hold on a second wait a minute what happens when where what is the fate of that cadaver? Is is, is it for don they donated it to to medic to medicine to medical science so that you look at it and then but then how long is that cadaver good for? And then when that cadaver is no 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 more use to you, what do they do with it? I don't know. Are these homeless people or people no, that no, donate no. their body to science? Donate, if you put on the back of your license, you can donate your body to. By the way, here's a, here's another fun fact. When you put donate your body to science, you can do whatever you want, but just know if you're like dying on the side of the road and they see that you're an organ donor, they work a little less hard Is that to true? save your life. Is that true? I'm going to say can right now, and hey, babe, right now, it's true. Wow. Yep. We're outing them. I'm outing. Well, it's not outing them. No, I mean, some you know people those, want to you know die. The bodies exhibit? Sure. I went to that, and I heard that that was controversial because yes. a lot of those people were unidentified. Yes. And they said maybe they were homeless for, people that passed on. No, 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 no. They were from a Chinese prison camp. That's okay. where they got the bodies from. I was in graduate school. That's during, true, though, I that's think. That's true. That's true. And so so th- they got heat for that. Yeah, they got heat for that. But because I was such a psychopath at that time, already immune to the cadaver, I went with my girlfriend at the time who wasn't in graduate, who wasn't, uh, or she was in graduate school but wasn't working on the cadavers. We went to that bodies exhibition. She, like, was, like, almost, like, dry heaving because she was, like, seeing skin bodies, and I got two slices, two Sicilians. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. But... So the f- day before the final, I mean, right. the day, be- the night of the, because we used to study, we used to, you know, getting the doctor's degree, we're like locking ourselves in the libraries and the cadaver labs, like, this is real stuff. We all ordered food. We all ordered pasta and food to the cadaver lab, which was very, and I was eating fettuccine Alfredo, and I was eating the fettuccine Alfredo, oh, no. going, o- like I had it next to the body. Seinfeld? Yeah, I'm eating the fettuccine, <laughs> well, what do you mean, what happened? With side a junior mint fell in the well. It was a surgery. They were watching a surgery, and a junior mint fell in the body, and they sealed them up. Oh, really? With a junior mint, in, yeah. <laughs> but wouldn't it just melt? I mean, the heat of the body is 90, 98 point ninety eight degrees. Sure the junior mint melted. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So 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 anyway, I'm I'm doing the you know we're we're looking over the um we're looking over the 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 body and going over everything, and I'm eating the fettuccine alfredo. Nobody saw this. I didn't even see this. A noodle of the fettuccine alfredo fell into the body. <laughs> no. I'll never forget where it was. It was in the pancreas in this place called the Isle of Langerhans. <laughs> that's that's it. I, go to the Islets of Langerhans. Islets of Langerhans. That's the oh, organ oh that was pinned. God. And I the fettuccine Alfredo, <laughs> it just blended into the body. Dr. Futterman had a pin through the string of fettuccine Alfredo on the pancreas. <laughs> no. Yes, on no. the pancreas. Yeah, groups of pancreatic cells. <laughs> islets of Langerhans. Groups yeah. of pancreatic cells. Yeah. Secreting insulin and glucagon. Yeah. Glucagon. Glucagon. What glucagon. Is what is that? It's like it's like What's what glucagon. Glucagon. It's it like what. Like- it's like what gives your body energy. It's like glucagon is like uh it sounds like what gets glue out of a carpet. Glucagon, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was right by the pancreas and like the I think or yeah, the 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 Ah uh, makes yeah, sense. Yeah, breakdown of glycogen breakdown to glucose of- in the liver. Yep, hormone. Hormone form I haven't, you know, done this in a while. Did, it's not did, it's not, did, it's not did, energy, did, it's a hormone. Did, did was it was it Professor Funderman? What's his name? Uh, Dr. Futterman. Dr. Futterman? Yeah, and one of my N R T. Like Nutter Futter. Like butter. Right, Futter Nutter. Yeah. Like Futterman. And did he see the fettuccine? No, he's the one that pinned it because it was blended into the body. It was my boy, Eddie. Shout out, Eddie. It was my boy, Eddie, who literally was on, you know, was like whatever, number 17. And he looked back and he goes, <laughs> and he looked down and he saw. <laughs> then that was, the, I was the talk of it. They were like, I can't believe he pinned the fettuccine. Right on. I would have been. I would have called you Alfredo after that. I know. And by the way, I apologize. It wasn't the Islet of Langerhans, but shout out Islet of Langerhans. No disrespect to you guys. Pancreatic cells very necessary. It was on the duodenum, which is, is a part now? of the small. That's that? part of the small intestine. How do you remember the this small stuff? intestine? Unravel the small. Ready for another fun fact? Mind blowing. I've been ready all day for it. Small intestine, <laughs> ten times as big as a large intestine. You unravel your small intestine right now, twenty five feet. Twenty five feet. If I unraveled all the cells in your body, I mean, I'm talking about all the cells and organs. If I unravel them all, go around the world seven times. Just your body. That. What do you mean? If I, your cells are so tightly packed. Cells, uh, microscopic. 
microscope. Yeah. But they're so so if I uncoiled all your organs, arteries, blood vessels and cells, your For your one, one person, body around the earth, Google it, tell me I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> How could that be possible? Buddy, there's not enough physical space in me. Bob, Bob's, I'm the, telling you because of cubic f- go, go, Pimpy. One go, Google one human body cells go around the world when you unpack them. Yep. Unpacked, yeah. What, what, what you find out with Pimp is even though he's a master editor, can't spell for shit. He's bad with the Google. Yeah. yeah. Um, the, by comparison, the circumference of the earth is 25,000 miles. That means a person's blood vessels can wrap around the planet approximately two and a half times. So I'm sorry, you can, two and a half times. So, so your circulatory system is extremely long. Wait, what? What? Human is body this can. Bullshit. This but, can't be real. Go ahead, Google it. 11 you're surpri- telling me. That's what I'm telling you, you're babe. You're telling me that my blood vessels will go 62,000 miles if they're stretched out? Yes. Two and a half times the Earth's Earth 25,000 miles. Right now. 62 and a half thousand miles worth of blood vessels. Right inside. in your body right now. How's that possible? Because the, because our bodies are so tightly packed. The but, cells in the but body are... 62,000 miles? But the, I'm five foot ten. In average adult, they would stretch for 100,000 miles. 100,000 miles, babe. How far can the human body stretch? Yeah. Well, that's true. The, no, no, no. The... the, the, the yeah, the DNA, the DNA and the cells and everything. That yep. is crazy. Yep. Items highlighted in yellow are mandatory. Must read. Please feel free to ad lib the introduction with a personalized story or start with the below introduction or an alternate introduction from page two. Wouldn't it be great if there was a pocket-sized guide that helped you sleep, focus, act, be better? There is. And if you have have 10 minutes, Headspace can change your life. Next, please mention all the talking points below. Headspace is your daily dose of mindfulness in the form of guided meditations in an easy-to-use app. Headspace is one of the only meditation apps advancing this and meditation through clinically validated research. So, whatever the situation, Headspace really can help you feel better. Overwhelmed? Headspace has a three-minute SOS meditation for you. Need some help falling asleep? Headspace has wind-down sessions for the members swear by. And for parents, Headspace even has morning meditations you can do with your kids. Headspace's approach to mindfulness can reduce stress, improve sleep, boost focus, and increase your overall sense of well-being. Host to talk about their experience with Headspace. Headspace is backed by 25 published studies on its benefits, 600,000 five-star reviews, and over 60 million downloads. Headspace makes it easy for you to build a life-changing meditation practice with mindfulness that works for you on your schedule anytime anywhere call to action must read you deserve to feel happier and headspace is meditation made simple go to headspace.com slash hey babe that's headspace.com slash hey babe for a free one month trial with access to headspace's full library of meditations for every situation this is the best deal all Offered right now, head to headspace.com slash hey babe today. Disclaimer, failure to read highlighted items will result in a make good request. Page one of two. You know what I was thinking about the other day? How, I, how, how could I know? And what I wish you would see more of, I love Ray J, Brandy's brother. Oh, of course. I love this yeah. guy. I love, I love his music. Wait a minute. Uh, I know his songs. Yeah, I love his music. I love some of the videos he's been in. I love Ray J, and I just wish I heard more about him, but I haven't seen anything from Ray J lately. Have you? Are you nuts? Are you nuts so in your head? Yes. He has his own headphones. What? Raycons, baby. Raycons are from Ray J? You don't know nothing about that? I love Raycons. They're wireless headphones, and they they, they, they hook up to Bluetooth nice and easy. They got six hours of playtime. 
Well, not, yeah. yeah. So you do know Raycons. Of course I know Raycon. I had them in my ears yesterday. You had a pair of Raycons in your ear yesterday and didn't know that they were owned by Ray J. And today you brought up Ray J on your own. I literally, this morning, had my Raycon headphones in, was listening to Brandy sitting up in my room, sitting yeah. here thinking about you, but the reason why I was listening to that song is because I wanted to feel closer to Ray J, and I didn't realize I, Ray J's actually inside of me. <laughs> you, you, Ray J was inside of you, like many of, you know, Ray J was inside your ears. Yes, like, he was like, like, my ears. No, no, I'm saying like usually he's inside your ears because of the sonic. Right. The sonicness of it, but right. now he's physically inside you. He was, Ray J was physically inside of me. Through Ray Raycon headphones, and I and all you have to do if you want to get Ray J inside you, no right strings now, attached, no strings attached, literally buy Raycon.com slash hey babe. The website is buy B Y U Raycon R A Y C O N dot com slash hey babe H E Y B A B E. Get Ray J inside you, Sal. You know who I love. Who do you love, Lucy? The girl from around the way. No, the nicotine alternative. Oh, Lucy. That Lucy. Yes, Lucy. Hello. Yes. It's a nicotine alternative that I found and that I've actually have, I have an aunt, you know my aunt Colleen. She yeah. smokes a lot and I tried to get her to quit because I said, listen, it's 2020. I mean, what are you doing? The aliens are out. I mean, there's yeah. a pandemic. You got to stop smoking. Yeah. I got her on Lucy. The woman hasn't smoked in three weeks. Is that right? The nicotine alternative. She's chewing the gum. You got to do it now. We know too much about cigarettes and they're not good for you. And here's the thing with gum. Normally... What do you got? Two flavors. You cinnamon, got, wintergreen. You got maybe? Your cinnamon, wintergreen. Guess what? Lucy also has. You what? ready for this? Yeah. Pomegranate. Shows me they're innovating. I, I told my aunt Eileen. I said pomegranate's good for the process. She said I'm a woman. I said well I have a low IQ. Well, a subscription to Lucy comes directly to your door each month. It's so simple. You don't have to leave your house because Lucy has delivery down. Listen. Normally when some one named Lucy comes to my house. I've made an illegal transaction. This time, it's fine. It's legal. All you got to do is go to lucy.co. That's lucy.co and use the promo code Hey Babe at checkout. That's what are you going to get? Five percent off? Ten percent? Fifteen percent? You're getting twenty percent off. What? Including the gum and the lozenges. That's insane now. Yeah. Hey you're, Babe. You're giving it away. The promo code is Hey Babe H E Y B A B E. The website is Lucy.co. If you put the M in it, you're making a mistake. You're not going to get anything. It's Lucy.co, promo code Hey Babe. Also, I have to give this disclaimer warning. Seriously, the product contains nicotine derived from tobacco, and nicotine is an addictive chemical. Okay, so remember the other day I told you I said I'm sick and tired of going to the grocery store. I'm not doing it anymore. There's COVID, there's lines. I don't want to do it anymore. Yeah, you were screaming at me. And I said, can there be at least one place that gives me 22 or more fresh recipes and ingredients. It was specific, but I thought it was odd. But yeah, you said that. Well, I found it. HelloFresh. I went to HelloFresh.com. You ready for what I did? Oh, I know about HelloFresh. You know what'd about HelloFresh? Yeah, what'd you do? I, I went to, I couldn't believe what this was, was happening. I go to HelloFresh.com. On a whim, I put in the promo code HeyBabe10. Just out of nowhere, I said, just try something, you know? So I go, HeyBabe10, promo code. They gave me 10 free meals. But you paid for shipping? I didn't pay for shipping. Get out of here now. I checked my credit card bill. I called. I said, there's been fraudulent activity. There's no, nobody even charged me for shipping. I got 10 HelloFresh meals in here by using the promo code HeyBabe10. Who, who's the CEO of HelloFresh? Crazy Eddie? That's insane. It's Santa Claus. What are, what are even the options for the food? I did look it up, actually. Okay. There's, there's Carb Smart. Okay. There's Locale, Pescatarian, Vegetarian, everything you want. And it's basically... Uh, they, pr they 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 package fresh produce from from local farmers. From local farmers. I mean, what else do you want? They're, they're even following the trends here. Yeah. And you know what they do? They prepackage the portions and the ingredients. I saw so you're that. You're not overbuying. I saw that. You ever go to these big box stores and buy enough for a month, and then it goes yeah. to waste? You're spending too much on your wallet. It's too much waste for the environment. I don't need it. This is helping out. I don't need it at all. And 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 these little packages, they come and I cook them. I've learned finally learned how to cook. I feel safe because getting delivered right to my door. And I, I'm telling you. I'm I'm telling you, I literally was sitting down. It was like God himself was speaking to me or herself or they self would speak to me. And they said, do me a favor, Chris. Go to HelloFresh.com. Put in the promo code HeyBabe10 hey and watch your dreams come true. And they did. I got 10 free meals, including free shipping. That's a lot, that's a lot of meals. If you eat three meals a day, that's like three meals point one day worth of food for no, for no, no cost. No cost at all. I don't understand how, how I don't understand the business model. But I, that's not for us to decide. It's not for us to Go decide. to HelloFresh.com slash HeyBabe10. Use code HeyBabe10 for 10 free meals, including free shipping. Yeah. America's, America's number, number one, one meal kit. 
That's why, that's why when you really look at the human body and you really look at like when you see it and like when a lot of people see death and yeah. all that stuff, like even my friend who's a doctor, you realize that it can't be the end when you die and that we are all one and the same in the universe. It has to be. For example, DNA, right? I don't know the exact numbers. This is an inexact number, but just for an example, our DNA, let's say is 0001234. Right, for example, that's a human. Is zero 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 one two three? That, but okay. <laughs> a pig, a pig's DNA is zero 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 one three two. So, in other words, the DNA of a pig and a human or any animal right. is so close right. that we must be cut from the same something or other type of thing. Came out of the ocean. It's a simulation. Bowl. It's a simulation. That's what I'm saying. It's a simulation. I was high the other day eating magic spoon, and I came up with it. I was I on got, the Sativia. I got, I, got, I got to get you high. We did the one. We did Sativia once in Nashville. I know. Or is it Sativia? Sativa. Sativa. And we were in Aspen. We no, were in we Aspen. Were, we were in Aspen, right? Yeah, remember you, you, got, you, remember you were like, oh, I'm not going to take the early flight. I said, oh, you probably should. It's a snowstorm. Oh, and yeah, then I got yeah, out. You had to stay there for two more days. Two more days. <laughs> yeah. But that's yeah. fun to be stuck in Aspen. Yeah, like, yeah. Found only in humans, the hyoid bone is the only bone in the body that is not connected to any other. I knew that. And that's right the here, the throat bone. of speed. The hyoid bone is the dead giveaway when people know you hung yourself. When people know you hung yourself, you, you, you crack the hyoid bone. The horseshoe. That's why. Bone. That's why when Jeffrey, when Jeffrey um, Epstein was, when they said suicide. Yeah. No. No cracked hyoid bone. No cracked hyoid bone. Say that. Say that ten times fast. Say that. Hyoid ten times fast. bone. Say no cracked hyoid bone. No cracked fast. hyoid bone. No cracked hyoid bone. No cracked hyoid bone. No cracked hyoid bone. You think bone. you could do it? Send us a video. Yes. Hashtag Hey Babe. No cracked hyoid bone. <laughs> say it ten times fast. Honestly, if you really do it, we will send you a T-shirt. Once the merch is made, which we're working on now. There you go. Boom. Um, no, I know a lot of stuff. The, the highest, the, high, the hardest bone in the body is in your skull. It's called the petrous bone. Harder than almost any substance in the world. Petrous bone right here. A lot of people think it's the femur. Nope. Petrous bone. Oh, right they say it's hard to break a femur, right? If you, if you have a broken femur, if you, if you're, here's the thing. If you're walking around and your femur breaks, yeah. you, you might want to, and you're a young person, you weren't in an accident, you got to kind of look into that because that could be a type of bone cancer or an issue. Ooh. Here's the thing. Here's what to know. A show, what you, with the human body, what you give up in mobility, you gain with stability. And what you give up with stability, you gain with mobility. In other words, your shoulder, your shoulder joint is very mobile, but it's not stable. You're always separating your shoulder. So that's how the, that, it's all, that's why. It's a give and take. That's, and that's what the balance in this game is. In yin the world, man, it's like if things were, if this wasn't some type of simulation in some game, then things would be more fair. <laughs> Same with the hip bone. The hip bone is not very flexible. Well, it's connected to the not thigh bone. To the thigh bone. Yeah. But it's very stable. So really, if you're breaking a hip, it's either you got into a car accident or you're very old or you have some type of osteoporosis. So wherever you gain mobility, you lose stability and vice versa. So, you know, when you look into the human body, it's just crazy, man. Wow. It's just crazy, crazy when stuff. When you saw that cadaver the first time you saw it. Right. Was it easy to remove yourself from that situation and be like, this is a cadaver? Or did you go home like, oh my God, I just saw like a dead dude or For woman. me, for me, like, I needed did, to. Was it fine? Or did you it was take anything fine. away from it that was like, I didn't love that? What Dr. What Dr. Farderman said, yeah. he said, what the best thing for you to do is, especially for the first day when we came in, we were all like, oh my God, everybody yeah. says, you have to make a connection with the body. You have to treat it like it's real. So I, of course, I had sex with it. Right. And, then, <laughs> and then, no, I, I tried to make a connection. You give it a name. You say like, this is my I mean, friend. I mean, I know your personality. Yeah. So what did you name your, your body? That you, did you remember or no? Yeah, Leroy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So you didn't have any issues then? I didn't have any issues. No, you I actually named it Leroy. And no, some- I actually did in anatomy. Anatomy was, I, I did relatively, because anatomy is just, is just, anatomy is just memorizing. Like I, at one point, I still may know every single bone in the human body. Is that I knew because, every bone. Is that because you had to drill that stuff and you had so much because that was the curriculum and you needed to remember stuff? Is it because you have a passion and a, and a thirst for the knowledge of it and so your interest is what kept it in your head because I don't remember because I have a problem with the way they teach in school and that's right. why I always can't believe how much how many history facts you re- recall right. because I at one point or another I learned history sure. didn't retain any of it and I right. think it's the way that they make us 
they, they, they teach us. They're like, memorize these things because this is going to be on the test. And then once you memorize them, they're, they, they, you don't need to remember them anymore. And you have to memorize, re remember and memorize something else. Instead of t like teaching in a way that's not about like, list this, name all of this, name all of that. You know, because how much are you going to retain that I knowledge? got, okay, so, so with history, the reason why that, my mother made that fun. Like my, the history became a love of mine because my mom, we would go to Boston and Philadelphia and colonial American places and right. like walk on the freedom trail and do all that. And she'd be like, oh, like, you know, we, we talk about different history characters. So that came from her. And then when I would get in trouble, I think I may have said this on the podcast, when I would get in trouble, yeah, like, you know, your mom would, or your dad would, would, you know, you go in your room for an hour. Right. I would do that too, get grounded. But uh, she would make me say out loud the state capitals. Oh, I would wow. have to. I would have to keep reciting the state capitals, that's and then when we so go funny. when we got through that, and then like I'm serious, like if if that's why I know every state capital, she would make me read the encyclopedia, and I'm talking about really she. If I if I tried to like stop for a second, you would hear continue, and she would. <laughs> <laughs> so that was the punishment. So you like played ball in the house, and then whatever you knew as soon as she was like Christopher, yep, and then you were like Saratoga, Albany, yeah. <laughs> Santa Fe, yeah, yeah all those right. Albany, right? Santa Fe, right? Saratoga. Sarasota is what I meant. No, but it's Tallahassee. Oh, it's Tallahassee? Saratoga was the turning point of the American Revolutionary War. That's what you're thinking of. Okay. Oh, so I'm thinking of peanut butter. Shout out Saratoga. Shout peanut out Saratoga. Peanut butter. By the way, though, shout out also Tom Brady, who just won the Super Bowl. Shout out Tom. Yeah. Good for you, Tom. Yeah, yeah winning the Super won, Bowl. Yeah, he won the Super Bowl. It's Bucks versus the Chiefs. That just happened. And, and congrats to the Chiefs, too, for, yeah, for getting second place. Um, um, name so a state. I name a state. You can name any. You can name every capital. You throw them can out. You name the every pres. I can name. No presidents. I'm not great at. I I I know the pres. I know them. I know you know because the other day you you dropped the James Buchanan on me. Fifteen president of the United States. Really, the worst president in United States history. Kind of led to the Civil War. Was a openly gay man. If you check out. If you check out our YouTube, was, Christie Comedy YouTube. He was openly gay as he presided over the office of the presidency ne of the United never, States. Never had, never had President James Buchanan, 15th president, never had uh, a wife or a first lady. He had a, a but he but the, the 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 United States of America, the, the the people at that time knew that he was he was he he was openly gay that way. At that time, well, they didn't elect him. I can't imagine they elected an openly gay man back then. In the t he wasn't openly gay because the uh, the thing is, but he was known. I mean, Andrew Johnson. Uh, I'm sorry, Andrew Jackson. You know Andrew Jackson, sure. Andrew Jackson. So when I Bill, he used to call him Miss Nancy. That was like he would call him to his face, Miss Nancy, and they'd be like, ha ha ha, yes. And he had his and no. an Alabama senator. I forgot the Alabama senator's name was his boyfriend. Like they would call he he would call him Andrew Johnson. Andrew Jackson would call. His friend, the Alabama senator, Mrs. B, like Mrs. Buchanan. Really? Because at that time, at that time in the 1800s, that's why history is cyclical, and that's why sometimes when you see what modern-day stuff, what's going on, you're like, wait, but if you look back in history, James Buchanan, uh, and, and at, at that time in history when James Buchanan was elected president, you being whatever your sexual preferences were, gay, straight, whatever, yeah. didn't disqualify you at all from public office. They were like, that's... We don't care about that at all. Wow. So you you would never even think to ask someone that. It'd be like, there's no point in that. It'd be like, oh, what kind of underwear do you wear? Nobody cares. It's only later. It's only now is it like, oh, what's your sexual preference? So we think that at times we think, you know, you're being progressive by being like this, this, and this. But if you look back in history, certain things, not everything, of course, sure. certain things were actually regressing where you're like, oh, no, no, no. They never cared about homosexuality in a public office right, back right, then. Right. That wouldn't even be a thing they would think of dreaming of. It's only now do we make it a stink. So wow. it's strange. But yeah, President James Buchanan, reason why worst president is because he kind of led to like Abraham Lincoln, then of course, 16th president. He has to take over James Buchanan's mess because he left the country in disarray with the Union and Confederacy. He was the one that kind of didn't care at all. James Buchanan really didn't care about, you know, preserving the union at all. He was like, you want to have slaves, have slaves. I don't, he was not fighting for anything. It was Lincoln that had to be like, come on guys, we got to like, and then, you know, the war. How do you remember all this stuff? How do, I don't know. I just, I don't know. Because this is just a small little, 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 little nugget. Little nugget. All the stuff that you retain. Yeah, but, but then, like you said, you know, I don't know how to say Tumbleware. Right. You're like an like a, like a idiot savant. I've been called that. Yeah. Because I have crazy knowledge in certain areas and none in others. Yeah. Same with me, dude. So you know all the capitals, which a lot of people know that. Yeah, that, there's only 50 of them. Yeah. So you can memorize 50 things. Sure, that's But the bones one. in the body. I'm not sure I can. Just throw one state at me. Vermont.
Take a guess. I know that you. when you say it, I'm going to know it right away. Vermont. Vermont. Man. <laughs> Nothing's coming to mind. Montpelier. No, nah, I would have lost my life on that. <laughs> you would have. I would have lost you, my life. A lot of people will guess. Montpelier? Montpelier. I'll give you another one. Smallest Doesn't capital even building. Doesn't ring a bell. Yep. Montpelier, I'd never heard of it. Smallest capital building in the country. Montpelier? Montpelier State oh, Capital. That's, that's right, because this isn't this. We go on the road. Right. When we're in different states, he's like, would you mind if we visit the Capitol building? And we take photos of him in front of the Capitol buildings. I got 28. 28 so far. I got 28 Mon- so far. I never heard of Mount Mon- Montpelier. Mon- Mont or Mount? Mont. Montpelier. Montpelier. Mont- it's a, because because Mont- that Pierre. because that part of the Northeast, the Vermont, you know, it's very close to Canada. Teddy that used Bear to, Company. Used be, Teddy Bear Company yeah. used to be part of France. That was, that was, that was the, the French... Kind of used to own that part. The the that used to be at, at some point was you know the spectrum of which you know things about geography and history versus the gaping hole in which I don't. Right, that's somewhere we are miles apart. With I would be in emba- if you named a state, you'd be and I told you everything I know about that state. You would be sh- in, it would be shock and awe right. about how much I don't know. Right. I well, tell you, um, emotional intelligence is what I have. You have emotional intelligence. I was book smart, but only because I memorize shit. Memorize stuff. See, I there's certain things that I memorize, but I like to try to, if I can learn it and understand it, yeah. I'd rather do that if it takes a little bit longer. But on the same hand, like, listen, yeah, I know Montpelier, I know some facts about geography, but I've never had baloney. So you've lived a full of life. Yeah, yeah you. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah you got to try bologna at least once. What should How we do? You not want to? Like, are you not just like I just need to have a communal experience? What here? we need to do one day on the podcast is I got to have at the same time we a need to bologna, make a list: bologna, pork chop, goat cheese, watch the Godfather. Yeah, all at the same. That Patreon, Patreon, which right we're going to start. Here. That's what we will have a full episode of first time. Yeah, first. Uh, can you give me another state? Okay. Um, uh, uh, I'll give you an easy one. How about, um, uh, ba, 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 ba. let me give you an easy Don't one. Don't overthink it. How about California? Sacramento. Oh, there you go. I so you it. got one, you okay. know. Okay. How about, um, how about, uh, Oregon? Oregon. It's not Portland, is it? It's not Portland. Uh-huh. But it is, it, can I give you a hint? Yeah. It's not Portland, but it is, it, it does share a name with a fun holiday themed city in Massachusetts. Holiday themed city? Holiday themed in the sense of on this holiday, this may be the best city to go to in the whole country. They probably make it the most fun. There's been movies about it. Okay. Is it Salem? It's Salem. Salem, Salem Oregon is the capital. Oh, is that Winston Salem up there? Winston Salem's in North Carolina. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Two, yeah. Th- th- those are the cigarettes, Winston and Salem. Winston and Salem, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I played there. You know, Dwayne Reed, too. Well, well that's a New York thing you know. Between is, the two streets. How crazy is that? Downtown, yeah, Broadway, same, yeah, Dwayne Reed, yeah, Dwayne Reed. That's how they named that. That's how they named it. Yeah, I saw a Sal- Sarah Silverman tweet one time, a long, long, long time ago. I thought it was very funny. I remembered it. It's she said, "Man, of all the black people in New York City, Dwayne Reed has to be the richest." <laughs> <laughs> That's a good joke. <laughs> yeah. No. Wow. Yeah. I um. No. I like. Yeah. History and geography are just things that when I'm home, mm-hmm. you know, when I'm home. First of all. I love sports. I mean, I'm wearing a USA badminton. Right. By the way, could you even, if I even, what is badminton? I know what badminton is. Because I I don't even know if I knew the, like, if you put out badminton equipment, I wouldn't guess what sport that is. Yeah, well, it's the cock, 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 cock. Is it the cock? Is it a cock? I wasn't going to guess cock, but. No, that that, that little, it's, it's it's the rackets. And then that thing's called a cock. Can you Google US? Can you Google badminton cock? The The shuttle cock. Shuttle cock. But that's the difference. If If you lose the word shuttle. No, but I was, I was cock, it was shuttlecock. That's shuttlecock. The, that's the ball. The thing. Right. And it's it's a two on two, yeah? No, I don't know. I have the sweatshirt, but I, I don't know. A badminton, I think they whip. I think they like whip that thing. Do they whip it? They whip it good. Devo. Whip it good. You yeah. Know Devo? Sure. Devo. Do you know Devo? Whip it. Whip, whip it good. That was, the, that, that was the most commercial hit, yes. Right. Do you know what Devo stands for? Devo. D I V O. It's short for something. D I V O? D E V O. Devo. Devotion. Good guess. Yeah. De-evolution. Wow. Yeah. 
Interesting. They were like pretty up on that shit, Devo. I really like Devo. I know some of the deeper cuts. I I, I got into I got into deep. You got into that. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow. I don't even know what, what it's just a about. funny thing. That's a de- just a Devo break is great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Who's I mean Devo? If you want, can they come on? Shout out Devo. Val- Devo you know, you know who was in Devo? Mark Mothersbaugh. Who's Mark that? Mothersbaugh is a musician. Uh, and Mark Mothersbaugh. Yeah, Mothersbaugh. Bar or bar. Um, M O T H E R S B A U G H, I think. Mark Mother's Bar. Mark Mark's Mother's Bar. Bar. See, Mark and Bob. See, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the key, yeah. Yeah, and they later went on to make a lot of insane great music. They do most of the music in all of the, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Wes Anderson movies. Wow. Yeah, he does. Shout out to Freddy Krueger. Yeah, sh- Freddy Krueger. Isn't. Oh, that's Wes Craven. That's Wes Craven. <laughs> no, Wes Anderson is like um, <laughs> Royal Tenenbaums. Um, Never seen it. Okay, all right, but you know, you know, uh, the hotel, the great, amazing movie, The Shining. No, 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 no. The um, <laughs> what's the name of that movie? I, I, how can I not remember this? Uh, Moonrise King, the Grand Budapest Hotel, Grand Budapest, and of course, no, I never seen it. And of course, uh, you know, you never what? You never the Grand Budapest Hotel. An amazing, amazing movie. Fantastic, Mr. Fox. But but, but what's the one with uh, what's the the best one of it's one of my favorite movies ever, and I'm blanking on it. Um, um not 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 uh, Royal Tenenbaums. Uh, uh, Steve Zizou. No, not Steve. Steve Zizou is in Life Aquatic. No, no, his main one. It's a uh, holy shit. Hotel I Chevalier, Isle of Dogs, Moonrise this. Kingdom, Rushmore. Rushmore. Oh my God! It's, it's a Rushmore is amazing. With Bill no. Murray. No, I've and, never seen um, any of this. The only Bill Murray I've ever seen is Groundhog Day. Really? Oh, and Ghostbusters. <laughs> yeah, you got you to you watch these. I know. I got to start watching it. I got... Anyway, but, 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 but how do we get from Devo? You want me to... Well, how about one more state? Yeah, please. Okay. Do it. Um, you want a hard one or an easy one? Or are they all badminton. kind of... Badminton. Ba- badminton? Yeah. Bad, badminton? Badminton. I thought it was bad... bad I, thought I thought it was, it was badminton. Badminton. Like ba- an MI... Ba- badminton. Badminton. It's badminton. It's badminton. Badminton. Bad- Fancy a game of badminton? A uh, badminton. I wanted to start playing backgammon. Have you played that? No. What's this? Shoot badminton and backgammon. You know what backgammon is. Backgammon is where they, they come to your house with a suitcase. <laughs> they come to your house with like a leather suitcase. It's like a, it's a game inside a suitcase. No, I'm not even joking. There's like dice and chips. And yeah, see, that you open up the suitcase. So there's a national. You, you've, no, you've seen that. Never seen that in my life. I've heard of backgammon. That's it. But I've never seen... Again, I, there's a lot of things in my life, like, I've heard of these things, I don't know what they when are. When I was younger, my stepmom used to play backgammon a lot, and and I think it was way more popular, popular back then, and I, I never learned how to play, and I always wanted to, and just recently, I was like, I'm going to learn how to play backgammon. By the way, speaking of step... <laughs> what I, What is with step... You know, I know it sounds like a Seinfeld thing, but it's like, with step... What does that mean? What's the deal? Stepmom, stepdad. Yeah, step, step. I don't know Should why. Should be side mom, step. side dad. So that sounds like that's worse. <laughs> that's worse? All right, no, so we'll like stick with step. Ha- half? Mom? No, half yeah, mom. Half, I don't know. Weird too. Second mom? Second, second mom. They should do that. How about this? Pay a little omen o- to them. O- Oman. Oman. Homage. Homage. How about this? You ready? Let's keep it with French-themed named state capitals. Okay. At Montpelier, the French, French yeah. named uh, uh, after Vermont. Very common French name also... The capital of South Dakota. What is it? Pierre. That's it. Uh, See? I knew you, that. Fi- you, you got two out of three. I knew that one. Well, you with the hints, I knew it. I you could have said Jacques. I wouldn't have remembered it without What about the Jacques, South Dakota? Francois, South Dakota. Okay. You picked Pierre. Yeah. Pink Panther, South Dakota. You picked the French name. Did you ever go to Mount Rushmore? No, but that's in South Dakota. I never did either, but you know what's weird? Do you ever go to- Patreon. Patreon. That's it. We'll, that'll be a frolic session. We're going. <laughs> did you ever go to the Alamo? Yes. Isn't it weird how the Alamo is like, like if when you when you're there and you look, it's just on a regular street with like a Starbucks across the street. Yeah, right across the street. There's a there's a Ripley's. <laughs> believe it or not, yeah. there's people. But when you see like Pee Wee's Big Adventure in the movies or like yeah. the movies, it's oh well, the movies like historically they don't have that there, but yeah. you never realize that it's just. And I think in, I think Mount Rushmore is like I think there's like a Target across the street. Well, that's like the Egyptian pyramids. Andrew Schultz went out to the Egyptian pyramids. He's like, there's a Pizza Hut yeah. across the street. <laughs> <It's> crazy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, the Alamo. The Alamo. Alamo has. By the way, the Alamo has forty thousand two hundred. Reviews 4.6 stars out of five. <laughs> we are not remembering the yeah, Alamo. A Ripley, so I, <laughs> I told you right there. 
<laughs> it's right across the street. There's a Hyatt. Shout out San Antonio. Um, it's um, so funny that people are just like, oh my God, the Alamo, five stars. No, yeah. But then some people are like, I didn't like it that much. I don't know what to tell you. The Alamo, see, that part of history, you know. <laughs> Let's see how much, w- w- what Ripley's rating is. Ripley's yeah. believe it or not. Could you imagine Ripley's has a higher rate? 4.4. <laughs> <laughs> Only two point two below Let's it. see. Yeah. Wow. 4.3. Let's see what the... Here, go scroll out a little bit. Let's see what the... Um, uh, yeah, let's see Dick's Last Resort, which is walking distance <laughs> from the Alamo. Scroll in a little bit. There you go. Let's see what Dick's Last Resort got. 4.1. 4. 1. 1 By the way, San Antonio City Riverwalk, great. It's great. Dude... <laughs> I stepped in human shit on the street there. You know what happened to me? What happened? Cockroach that big tried to attack me. Were you doing shows out there? Or were you visiting? I was doing shows, and I was staying in a hotel on the Riverwalk. Right. And we went in, and it was like a historic hotel, and it had a real, like, New Mexico type of vibe. It was cool, but it smelled weird. It was, like, old and very musty. Right. When I checked into my room, I felt it had a very musty smell. I think I told this on the podcast. I don't know. No. I, 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 had, I have a sixth sense when it comes to... Like, you know, like, I don't know what you would call, like, gaydar for like, bugs. Right. That's what you have, though. I mean, you had 300 dead flies. I have yeah. bug dar. You have bug dar. Yeah, right? So, like, I went, I checked in, and I said, I feel like I'm going to come across some type of bug in this hotel. Right. And I came back from my shows, and I went to go to bed, and I really felt uncomfortable in this hotel. And so what I decided to do was, no joke, because I had the CPAP machine, I wrap, wrap myself up like a burrito, if you will, like a right. cocoon, mm-hmm. because I didn't want any penetration from bugs, sure. you know, from... And I went to bed, and I dreamt that night. And I've told this story before, but I swear to God, I had a vivid dream that a huge roach this big like just were, were coming at me they came into the walls and they, were, and they were trying to get into the blankets and I kept on waking up in the middle of the night looking and just tucking myself back in right and I was sweating under there but I just wouldn't compromise the the the, the I, I didn't I knew there was gonna be a goddamn roach yeah <laughs> I woke up in the morning I dreamt of roaches cockroaches all right. night okay and then I got out of bed and we had to leave for the next city. And I went, I went to take a shower and I went into the bathroom and I, my toiletry bag was on the sink. Right. And I went to move my toiletry bag and I moved it this big, a roach this big on the kitchen, uh, the, the bathroom counter of the sink that big. I let out a yelp. <laughs> I let out a yelp that ha- it had to be like just a young, fe- a young, ch- a young girl. Yeah. Like a young girl. I was yeah. like, <laughs> a yelp. Yeah, and and I freaked the f- out, and I took one of the glasses and I put it over the roach. Wow! And I and I just walked out. I didn't even brush my teeth. I didn't do anything. I put everything in my suitcase and I walked out. And I walked out to the 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 van that we had waiting to bring us. And I just got shouted in the next place. I I brought that roach. I it was like the, the book, the secret. Yeah, I put it out into the universe. I brought and, that. and came right back. What are the odds that I walk in and I go? I feel that there's going to be a bug here. I feel it's going to be a cockroach. I dream of cockroaches all night. <laughs> I get up to go brush my teeth, and there's a cockroach this big in the room. Sal, I just I have some type of power. Maybe. I just told you if I uncoiled your body, you'd wrap around the earth seven times. I think you can smell a bug coming. Yeah, you know what I mean. I knew it. And yeah, it was there. Yeah, it freaked me out. It freaked, dude. It would freak me out. Zero stars. Zero. <laughs> yeah, zero stars for that hotel. I, you know, I have an um, uh, an uncle who fought in Vietnam, and he told a story. That he was eating, they would send them beans, like, you know, cans of beans or what, you know, one of the foods they would give is beans to the army. And he was in the army and he was eating the, the, the can of beans. And he says to the guy next to him, he, you know, he told the story, obviously, or he told my aunt the story. And then she told it when we got older that he was like, oh, he's like, I'm eating the can of beans, like right there in Vietnam. And he goes, I say to my friend, he was like, it's, these, these, this is so much better with meat in it, finally. And he's like, there's no meat in mine. And he looks and he was eating a roach. Oh. He was eating a roach with the beans. But, wow. you know, he was like, whatever, it's protein. You need it to. You think you could do it? Go to Vietnam? Fear factor? You, you eat a bug? No, I couldn't do that. If, 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 it were, if you were on television and money was on the line, like, would they win 50 grand on Fear Factor or something like that? Yeah. Could you eat one bug? Or just pick up a cockroach and eat it. <laughs> By the way, Ari's, uh, Ari, Ari's out of the country and he's in, like, the Amazon right now. Right. I don't know if I'm giving anything away. I doubt it. But uh, he's, he sends me pictures of him eating bugs all the time, and it's disgusting. It's disgusting. I can't do it. Yeah. For me, yeah. The, that the picture, sorry, that's, full video. That's crazy. He's, he's ordering bugs at restaurants. Yeah, because yeah, you can eat. The, well, that was a delicacy. Eating crickets was a delicacy in ancient Never. times. What, what's, what will it take? There's a dollar amount for you to eat a bug. For me to eat a bug? $50,000 $50,000 on Fear Factor. I guess for me, 
It depends what the price of Bitcoin is at the time I do it. I, I, mean, I do what, it for three Bitcoins, whatever what, that is. What, what, what would happen? Would you, would you just vomit? Would you, is that your favorite word for throwing up, vomiting? What's your favorite uh, synonym for throw up? I say puke a lot. You I just say puke. puke. I say puke. I know a lot of people think puke is gross. I say puke. It's funny how you could think puke is gross and vomit is gross, but throw up is the same exact thing, but not gross. You know what I think is the most disgusting word in the human language, and it skews me out even to say it? Moist. Feet. 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 Right. It did give me the chills when you said it. Feet. It did give me the oh, feet. He, even, even if you're like, oh, look feet. at how gorgeous that woman's feet are. As soon as I think about, as soon as you say feet, I'm out. Feet. I don't want to know about your feet. Yeah. Feet. Puke. What's some other words for vomit? Up Put down your lunch and take a peek. Moist. Phlegm. Ointment. Panties. Lugubrious. Curd. Lugubrious. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ask for your state. Ask for your state. <laughs> uh, Montana. Helene. I didn't know that. Yeah. Although I now know it, now you say it. I know. Helena, I should Helena. say. Not Helene. Helene Hel- is a woman I... Oh, I thought it was Helene. Uh, 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 Helene. Helena, it's Helena Montana? It's Helena Montana. I think it's... It's either Helena, it's either it's either Helena is the capital of Montana or she used to be my lunch monitor when I was a kid. Helena. Helena. You're right. You're right. Helena, Montana. Phlegm, pant. You ever been to Montana? Third world dollop. Dollop is what? That's a state. Shout out to Dollop Podcast. That's a good podcast. Helena, have you ever been in the state of Montana? You know, I don't think I have. I think it's one of the, I think it's the only, st- wait, I can't remember. You know, you ever go through there? No, I've never been yeah, to Montana. I, I think I've like, never been to Montana and Alabama. I think there's two states I have not played in. What? And I think Montana is one of them. What's the other one? I think it's one of the Dakotas. Right. I think. But you've been in, you don't remember which Dakota you've been to. But I did play Wyoming, I think. You know what the capital of that one is? Beautiful name, Cheyenne. Cheyenne. Cheyenne, which a lot of people name their kid Cheyenne. Cheyenne, So I, yeah. you've heard of that name, Cheyenne. Cheyenne, Wyoming. Speaking of kids, we did- two- You're having one! <laughs> <laughs> Let's bring them out. <laughs> you know, speaking of kids, <laughs> speaking of kids, we put out a video a couple of weeks ago where we shattered this child's Guinness Book of World I Records. I mean, shattered. Yeah, we, by four seconds. Which, and when Guinness times, you're talking like it's like the Olympics. Point right. oh, oh, oh means uh, one second is a lot. Right. Is a you know, but four seconds is a world. Right. A world apart. You shattered it. Shattered. We did it without thinking. We did it on the fly. Right. We challenged everybody to hashtag Hey Babe Guinness Book and send us back. And people demolished us. Demolished. I mean, we beat the kid by four seconds, and then me and you were like high fiving, laughing, and pushing each (laughs) other into the bushes. Yeah. People beat you by 15 seconds. 15, 20 seconds. People are cocking into 30 seconds. By the way, and some of and and a lot of people did it the right way, but there's some people who just started counting. The whole point of this thing is you have to be on somebody's shoulders. I know, but then some people look at this. I mean, this is a dad. Mark A. Uh, at SKCU dog, he did. Let's go. He's on his daughter's he, shoulders. He, he, he's this is a man that is three times the size of his daughter. He's two hundred and twenty pounds. Yeah, let's while the dog is licking his do- dog to the hundred second. Gen- <laughs> okay, just go. Well, you gotta, you gotta. I'm not on your. The dog. I mean, the dog is the biting dog. his kid's face. <laughs> also, how is she holding that man? Ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, seventy-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, 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 forty-nine,
good, pimp? Sure. Yeah. I have to make sure I don't go nine. Yeah. The goal's 35 seconds here. Okay. Ready? All right, whenever you guys are ready. Okay, you count me down. So you say three, two, one, go. Are you ready right now? Yeah. All right, three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. There are 29.69 seconds. Point yeah. 69. Yeah. Point 69. Yeah. Point 69. Yeah. Wait, 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 w